In the last several years, murals have started to pop up across central Bakersfield. They've been a way to honor local activists and an attraction for people looking for an Instagram background. But a new set of murals are popping up in an unexpected place. And as 23 ABC's chief photographer Grant Simpson shows us, these artists are hoping they leave a lasting impact on those who see them. The Crave Crossing is a group of uh, artists that have come together to create uh, art murals throughout the city. This is the beginning stage of it, and right now we're in the alleyway doing multiple murals, doing the whole alleyway pretty much, and hopefully progressing um, toward other sides of town. The pictures before all of this happened, this was nasty. Um, it started when I watched it at the corner when um, somebody local who was clearly frustrated with um, the drug use and the homeless um, population. He was like writing all the kill all the junkies first. And I remember how that bothered me. And I was like, well, I'm gonna go paint over that. And I live here. I've lived in this neighborhood since I was five. I went to Roosevelt. I went to Emerson. I went to BHS. So this is me kind of taking it back. Like I'll push all that out with this. And what it was before was it was just nasty. And it's a forgotten space, and we don't appreciate. It. Now, I've cr now it's something people will stop and give attention to. And I think it, it's brought a lot of the the neighbors together to care about this space that they didn't care about. The space didn't matter, and now it matters. And I talked to the people that, that walk the alleys, that walk the ugly spaces, to be like, surprise, you think you're gonna walk down an alley and be like, and, it, and they say it, they, they come through, and that to me is what really matters. Everybody else, it's like, you don't realize how comfortable your life is, and like this is like somebody's like bright spot in their day. And so, so I just paint a wall. <laughs> Murals tell our history, and we have some wonderful artists in town that have um, uh, transformed everything from walls to electrical boxes into pieces of art. And it just brings a smile to people's faces rather than just seeing a plain, a, you know, plain blank wall. It creates life. Oleander is a special area. It's historic, wonderful architecture, great neighborhood, wonderful park. We try and get the neighbors on board so that it's consecutive and we hope to lead it to the park so that it's like, oh, you have a walkway to the park and then it encourages people to walk the neighborhood um, just a different route and it invites community into the space and then I meet them hours and hours and hours of man man hours behind all of this and then I realized it was an opportunity for other artists to local artists who've never done a mural who who just want to put their their art as a gift and to like structure it in a way where this isn't for clout this isn't for you to get attention it's for you to bring attention to the space I think the coolest thing is that all these artists get to collaborate together and uh, express and share their ideas. This is how I'm changing my community and this is, I don't know, it's, it's really satisfying. It's really rewarding. So I'll just keep doing it. As long as the neighbors keep signing off on it, I'll keep coming out here and, and doing this. And if you'd like to check out Creative Crossing, it's located in the alley that intersects with Holtby Road between First Street and Verde Street. The artists say they'll continue to paint until they run out of supplies. If you'd like more information, you can reach out to Creative Crossing by emailing them at thecreativecrossing at gmail.com.